What's going on? It's Drew Carrick, the rapping CPA. I was the technical advisor on PBC, Flowcast Studios' newest comedy series. The reason I wanna give the footnotes is to help accountants sort of understand what was going on through my mind as a fellow accountant and to give a little bit of insight to the non-accountants what some of the terms are, what some of the jokes are, what exactly was going on and why these things were funny. So without further ado, let's get to watching. I love the fact that one, my last name is on the building, if you caught that little nugget. I also love that piece of work where the dude's head is just in the building. But it's just showing, you know, Americans are literally putting their head into work and they're stuck on the work grind. For the last two years, I've been working in audit where you form an opinion on a financial statement to make sure that it's fair and in conformity with general accounting principles accepted in the United States of America. Generally accepted accounting principles is what many people refer to as GAAP, the regulations that we go by and we have to make sure that the accounting is in conformity with what those rules and regulations are. It's sort of a rite of passage to send a nice and PR friendly farewell email on your last day, but as a kind of rage therapy, I decided to write a version of my drafts that's more how I really feel. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm sharing this. This is so bad. We it is with write these zero emails, these farewell emotion. emails all the time. Sometimes people get really creative with it. So for me personally, I actually made a goodbye farewell music video in natural rapping CPA fashion. We're trying to change the stigma around public accountants, around CPAs, accountants in private and, and in general. Sarah is the, the good girl. She's focused, she's driven, trying to get her work done. I just love this as the lead character because she is exactly what you envision when it comes to a youthful, young, bright-spirited sort of CPA. Sorry. Did I just send that? No, 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 So now here's the rough part about this. As she's leaving, she's leaving her laptop there, and that is like the biggest no-no in accounting period. Anybody that's worked in public knows that the number one rule you get during IT training is protect your laptop at all costs. I'm uh, Dave Goodman. I'm the uh, corporate controller. I oversee an entire team. Have you met everybody? So the controller of the company, every accountant knows, is the person who's basically in charge of the accounting department. And the controller sort of has their hand in a little bit of everything, which is what Dave, the controller here, is talking about. Everything goes through accounting. Buying ink toner, getting lunch, having a conference, or starting a new program. Every transaction that happens, which is why when you analyze the books of a company, it tells you the story about everything that the company is doing. The auditors are showing up tomorrow. Boo, lame, death of them all. <laughs> but I have a big first ask from you for the team. This is where I'm gonna be a little bit upset about Sarah because she's quitting her job in public right before busy season's about to start. It's just kind of a dick move. So she's kind of getting what she deserves in a sense. Now she's gotta learn the accounting system really quickly. She has to be one of the liaisons with the auditors, provide them with the support, get them all the documentation that they need. Definitely a big first ask for her, but uh, she kinda asked for it. Also, her old team is probably pissed off at her because she was probably the senior on an engagement that she just totally left them high and dry for. Huh, go for Dave. You're, you're a prince abducted in Zaire. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I get these phone calls all the time. I don't know how they get my phone number. I guess I plaster it online, so that's not really shocking. I really like when people actually mess with these scam artists and they send emails back and they really get them going. Uh, definitely a favorite pastime. I just set the over under on the water delivery at six jugs. Then this beautiful stranger walks in here with eight jugs. Eight, how am I supposed to do my job if he keeps doing this? I know you're f***ing with me. I know you're with somebody, man. There's no way we ordered that much water. Oh, that's fun. A little office pool. What do you lose, 10 bucks? 10 Gs, actually. <laughs> our accounts really gambling that much? Let me tell you, I have friends who are in public accounting. You know who you are. And they are obsessed with Vegas, obsessed with Atlantic City, bet on absolutely anything. Hunter being a relatable character, a thousand percent. Look, just do us all a favor and don't kick so much ass that you make the rest of us look stupid, okay? It's all about balance and accounting, you know what I mean? Well, I just try to be audit I can be. No. The accounting puns are probably one of the fan favorites when it comes to working in public accounting. When I started my like music group called the Balance Sheet Boys, my rap name was Petty Cash. I had like a whole squad of people. We had two screens, DJ accruals, we had Joey assets. Shouldn't we check the IT department? <laughs> the IT guy? What? Oh, no. No one is in there, ever. 
You got to like really find them. Every IT department I've worked with, it's always like a secret dungeon that they have to get to. Like you got to go down the staircase through like the boiler room just to find the IT folks. Did you guys submit a ticket? It's her What's first day. Oh, shoot. You know the rules. We can't really do anything without a ticket. You need a ticket to get into the queue. Once you're in the queue, you get into the proprietary system, and then it's a first come, first serve once you're in the system. When we were working in public accounting, we would have these big files that we'd have to transfer. There was always some sort of issue going on, and you could spend hours a day just trying to deal with IT troubleshooting. And then especially when they started to outsource IT, a lot of companies have been doing this. Then all of a sudden, it's impossible to get a hold of IT, period. IT, it's all about problems problem solving. My biggest problem is how can I do as little work as possible? At this point, I'm clocking in only seven minutes of actual work a day. I look oh, hold on, he is drinking a Capri Sun. I know so many people from IT who actually have side businesses and they know their job hands down, but they're kind of like spending half their time doing that and the other half the time they're like, well, I got no sort of issue, so I'm gonna work on my own sort of side projects. There's this notion that lazy people are actually how new inventions come about. Oh, I don't wanna sweep the floor, boom, vacuums. I don't want to clean dishes. Oh, dishwasher. Lazy people are actually the best innovators we have. Get out of here. Stop it. Well, stop. Let's just Jessica. See you. Oh. Hey. So what this kind of reminds me of is when you'd be like on Facebook or Twitter or not doing work and your boss kind of comes by and you quickly minimize your screen just to make it look like, no, 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 you totally weren't just on the internet browsing something else. Uh, obviously they got caught outside not doing work, period, but I think we've all been there where we're like, oh, quick, let me minimize that screen. That way they don't realize that I'm not actually doing work. You didn't hear that from me though. Okay, I won't be there early, but I'll be there at six. Can't wait to see you in the fam. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I've heard so much about you. I'm Tracy, the accounting manager. Thanks for finishing all that up. Uh, unfortunately, your coworker Hunter isn't very sufficient at his job, and he screwed up a journal entry, so I'm gonna need you to fix it for me. Also, these 25 more requests came in, and they need to be done before the audit tomorrow. I hope that you can handle that. I'm sure you can. Oh, but on the good news side, you get to pick dinner because you're the newbie. I felt that when I would show up to clients, they were rarely ever ready for the audit to actually begin. And I know my other CPA auditors out there know exactly what I'm talking about because you show up, the trial balance isn't even completely finished. They're like, yeah, we still have a couple moving parts. There's still some adjusting journal entries that we have to make. This is like very common practice. So for the client to actually be like, we need to get all the support ready for the audit. We need to have all the PBC requests ready to go when they show up. That would be an auditor's dream. But in reality, I feel like most of the time that probably was not happening. I would usually spend the first week kind of just rolling forward notes in the audit file, not actually doing any testing because most of the time it wasn't even ready for testing. We would show up at 8.30 in the morning ready to go and you'd see the client kind of rolling in at 9, 9.15, 9.30. They're chatting in the coffee room. They're taking a long lunch. They're heading out at 4.35. Everything is super relaxed. Meanwhile, we're there working till 6, 6.30. Then during busy season, 8, 9 o'clock or, or even longer. Now Sarah's coming in, having that public experience, working with people who have never worked in public and you see how she's very, let's get work done. You know, Michaela and Hunter are here just like, we work, it's just a thing we do, but it's not really the priority of why we're here. That's why it's attractive for employers if you've worked in public accounting because they know this person knows how to work. They know how to get things done in a high stress environment, on a timeline, they're detail oriented. That's one of the big selling points for public accounting. Thanks for watching the footnotes to PBC. If you haven't seen the full series already, go check it out over here. And also like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of our awesome accounting content. As always, stay footed.